Hi, we're doing another Great Lakes fish cam. It's a fish ID reel starring Kathy Johnson and Greg Lashbrook. We've got a whole bunch of species that we've seen in front of our uh, underwater camera and we'd like to share them with you. So we decided to show you the clip of the actual sighting that we recorded to sort of say, okay, these are log perch. And then we've also included a picture where when we have them available to show you a little bit where it's easier to see them. Because obviously on this camera, you know, visibility changes, it's all happening in real time very quickly. We're doing screen captures after the fact. Um, you know, you put all that together and it's not always super easy to see them you know, on the actual camera, unless you're like really good at identifying your fish and you're like really good at this, it can be a little challenging to actually know what they all are. Very challenging. And we've had great help with the comments. So if you're new to our channel and you're new to watching these reels and our live stream, then you definitely want to open up your phone or your device that you can do the actual live chats and the comments because the um, viewers have been great. And so we have some really good fish people that are watching now. And so they're super helpful. You can ask questions if you're not sure. Um, but anytime anybody sees something that we haven't seen before or just we're doing regular shout outs, you know, um, to point out things like, oh, there's a yellow perch or there's a whatever rock bass. So yeah, below blue water diver. Below blue water diver. That has been great. Um, yeah, he's really, really good. And then he provided us even with um, some of these IDs you'll see when we get to the salmon. Um, he gave us even some screen captures where he points out, you know, what he looks for when he's actually trying to tell the difference between a coho or an Atlantic or a male Atlantic from a female Atlantic or whatever. So it can be a little bit tricky. The salmon, I feel, I personally just feel like the salmon are the hardest, but. Yeah, they all kind of look the same. They're all kind of shaped the same, uh, but there are, you know, certain things that uh, the fishermen especially look for when, when you come up and see what they're catching. They say, oh, this is a blah, blah, blah. And uh, you wonder, well, why is that a blah, blah, blah? And uh, fascinating because the tails mean a lot, the shape of the body, the, uh, I mean, just everything really counts as to their identification. Yeah, the, di the different shapes of their head, where their eyes are, um, yeah. the bass, like a difference between, again, a smallmouth and a largemouth, it's literally just going to be how, it's not really the, like one has a bigger mouth so much, but like how far back it goes relative to their eye, basically, is right. all it comes down to, right? right. So yeah. it can be really hard to tell. And again, on this live stream, they're moving fast. They're obviously not frozen like they are in a still picture like this, where it's a lot easier to be like, oh, look, yeah, you can see them clearly. So we tried, like I said, to do that wherever we could for you to give you a little bit more time to look at them and obviously you can rewind and go back and forth um, but so far we've seen all together we've seen a total of 32 species we've had this going now for about six or seven months and in that time we've seen 32 species 27 fish uh, and then we've also seen things like the crayfish the jellyfish the mud puppy um, cormorants and mergansers so some non-fish species as well, which is kind of cool. And a few divers that go by every now and then. Yes, I should add um, homo sapien <laughs> to the list. Yes. <laughs> so hopefully this will help. We will, you know, update this as we go along, although we are fairly close to all the species that should be available to be sighted here. But we will um, update it, you know, if we get some new sightings as we go along through the next season. Um, we're certainly at the start of the season now, which is exciting, and we should be over the next month or so. It should be really ramping up, and then um, summer will be here. We'll have lots of fish. Can't wait. Yep. Thanks for all your subscriptions. We're super excited that just uh, in the last month we finally got 1,000 subscribers. That was our, our goal that we had set, so of course now we have to set a new goal, which will be... 10,000. So we're really counting on everybody to help us this summer to do a big push. Once the fish come back, hopefully you can share it with all your friends and family, comment, like, and please subscribe. 
See you next time. Thanks again.